UFC 286 is all wrapped up. While it didn't have the high tension thrills of UFC 285, but it was a pretty satisfying PPV all around. Well, in this video, we are gonna talk about some fights that should happen after UFC 286. A fantastic fight from Leon Edwards who made a small couple of fundamental adjustments going into this bout that seemed to have finally tuned his game to beating Kamaru Usman. Usually this is the spot where I talk about how Edwards should now be fighting the next clear challenger in front of him. By all rights that should be Bilal Muhammad. If everything stays the way it is right now, however that would not be happening. At the post fight UFC 286 presser, Dana White revealed that not only is the promotion looking to book Bilal Muhammad Muhammad against top rising prospect Shavkat Rahmanov, but Colby Covington is getting the next crack at the gold. As others have already noted, Covington has not beat a fighter dominantly coming off a win since RDA in 2018. It's not the choice I'd make, but it seems like Leon Edwards vs Colby Covington is the fight we are going to get. So with the title out of reach for the foreseeable future, who does Usman need to fight? Chimaev is apparently moving up, Muhammad is apparently fighting Rahmanov, Covington is also booked, same with Burns and Masvidal. That leaves only one option, a glaring omission from Usman's resume. Stephen Wonder by Thompson coming off a big win over Kevin Holland, the UFC should strike while the iron is still surprisingly hot. Thompson vs Usman is a great high profile next booking fight for the former king. The highlight Justin Gagey intimated that he might not have many fights left so we cannot waste them. Unfortunately getting there will likely mean going through a couple of men who already have his number. Dustin Poirier or loser of Charles Oliveira vs Benil Dariush. If Dariush loses the fight against Oliveira then Dariush vs Gagey makes sense. Otherwise the only obvious answer right now is Poirier vs Gagey 2 for the title eliminator bout. Gunnar Nelson is apparently more committed to his coaching career right now more than being a full time fighter. So we might not see him anytime soon. But when he does come back, bouts with Muslim Salikov, the winner of Holland vs Ponzo Nibio or a rebooking of Daniel Rodriguez bout will all be good. He has lots of options to come back in the octagon. Considering the unlikelihood he runs back to the cage for a quick return, I'll say wait for the winner of Holland vs Ponzo Nibio. Holland vs Nelson would be a so much fun fight. Aside from former champions Israel Adesanya and Robert Whittaker, number 4 ranked Marvin Vittori has beaten everyone he has faced since 2017. Similarly, number 3 contender Cannonier has been victorious against every middleweight except Adesanya and Whittaker since dropping down from the light heavyweight division. Why not have these two top 5 UFC contenders face one another? It won't hurt the loser much, while the winner may do enough to get themselves another big fight, and it would be an exciting style contrast. Vittori can strike and grapple, while Cannonier will look to keep it standing and land big power punches. Can Vittori take Cannonier down and keep him there, or how will Vittori do in the striking? There is no shame in losing to Gagey. Fiziv looked tremendous over a course of two and quarter rounds. He had enough speed and his power would put out most lightweights. He showed great durability against Gagey and showed that he is still major threat to anyone in the division. Matthews Gamrot is directly behind Fiziv in the UFC rankings. Both are hungry, fresh faces among the lightweights elite. It's a classic pairing of high level striker versus grappler. Let's see who is ready to make another run at the top. These were the fights in my opinion that should happen after UFC 286. If you have some other fights in your mind, please let me know in the comments section. And if you like the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick with the channel.